So I have a new project I'm embarking on to make a journal um, using some nice fountain pen paper and actually using four different papers. So that is maybe somewhat sketchy. Step one is to create, oh, I should preface this by saying this is not a how-to video. This is a how I'm doing it video, which is probably not the right way. But if I end up with a book at the end, then it is a way. The lighting in here is suboptimal. Maybe I will turn on another light. So, taking four sheets of paper, folding it in half, scoring the edge, setting it aside. Let's get some light. Yes, that is much better. Now, I have, hold on, I have two stacks of paper here. I think I count. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, seventeen. 21, 23, 25, great. Done. Just go over here. So anyway, this paper is Cosmo Air Snow. I got it from Jet Pens. I love Jet Pens. Three, four. Um so I'm just meeting the two edges. Um, I'm actually trying really hard not to touch the paper surface with my fingertips because uh, Cosmo Air, oh, I messed that up, resists. Um, like the oil on your finger will create a resist. But there's nothing I can do really. I can just do my best, and that's going to have to be good enough. So, um, I don't know if I've spoken about this as my bone folder. It is, in fact, made from bone. I think they're made from shin bones of cattle or something not sure probably not people in case you're worried about that when I got this. I think it was for my very first I'm going to make a book project which never resulted in a book. Um, you know the way these things go. But I have since made some books. Maybe what I'll do is go get them. They're not right now. So this was step one, folding the signatures. Um, two that way, two that way. The next step is weighting them. I don't have a press or anything like that. So what I'm gonna do to weight them Use you some heavy books. So uh, let me actually move these out of the way and then I'll show you another next step. Okay, here's paper I already weighted. And the paper I have the least of, I just tore up a notepad that I had 
that was some Clairefontaine Triomphe paper. And so I just was left with whatever was left. So let's count how many signatures we have. Two, three, four, five, six, eight. So let me math that. I have eight signatures. And they should be, they're eight pages each. Sixty-four. I mean, kind of a wimpy journal. Hmm. Because what I thought I should do is actually rather than make the book in sections where I have like, okay, we have a signature of Claire Fontaine and a signature of bank paper and a signature of Tomoe River and a signature, I thought maybe we make a signature that has one sheet of each type. I don't know. don't know. I have to think about this. I guess while I'm thinking I can show some books I made. So this is one of the first. This is just kind of like just a bunch of crap I had around. Like <laughs> I keep it closed with this. This is a scrap from a dress I made. A scrap of fabric and I just did that. You can see this probably have watercolors or inks on it. It's a paper towel. This is like acrylic. These are as well. Um, I don't know what I used for this. Probably the back of a notebook. And for paper I have this um, this is, I think, a mixed media paper. I have this craft paper. And then I have this black paper. And I just made, this is, you can see here, there's just three signatures. Probably really too many sheets of paper in each, if we're honest. Um, and I was watching people who did junk journaling and I'm like I'm gonna do that because I've never met a hobby I didn't like so I just put stuff in here like this is a knitting pattern that's me eating a tasty treat this was a thing from a notebook that I found pickles plus carrots equals parrots since this this pickle saying hey there um there's a watercolor I did. I mean, is anyone surprised I did some rain? I mean, I sketched it in the water. Some of it is actually just the pen, but like wine, olives, bread, cheese. I'm not sure what that is. That's Quake Tower. So anyway, just like random stuff. And, oh, that's... Phil, I don't know why I had to paint him that way. Apologies to you, Phil. Hey, but you know what? I basically have those glasses now. So that's cool. Here's a bunch of washi tapes. So anyway, sorry, this is like a journal, but not. Um, so this was probably my first book, I think, that was a, a trial run. I could be wrong. The first one might have been this. So this is a Coptic binding. It's a put, It's kind of like a binding you might choose instead of a Japanese stab binding. So you can see the stitching. 
I don't even know if you just saw everything or if I was just looking at that. Anyway, these are the original papers that I bought to make the original book a long, long time ago. And then this paper, I don't even remember what it is. It doesn't matter. But this is to be a photo album. And like, um, I did do this thing that was pretty cool. A certain type of folding, and so when you open it, oh, come on, I unglued it a little. The mat still opens out, but it'll fold back. Anyway, when I made this one, this is just tape. This whole thing is just papers taped together. So like you could do really bad watercolors if you want and make a book out of it, just taping stuff. And then I made this book. Again, this is a sewn on binding with like properly glued in papers and it's not perfect. I like cut into the book board like I'm not a good artist. I mean this is alright. It has some Yupo in here, which is a plastic paper, and, yeah. I don't remember painting that, but boy, are those some pretty blues. I bet these are ultramarine. Um, I really love doing color charts. It's just really satisfying. It's not like real art. But um, that was a blind contour drawing, no judgment. But you can see, like, it's just definitely not perfect here. I cracked it. I did not follow good book binding techniques with this, but I don't care. I made it, it functions. It's fine. And I, like, used it to do, like, arty type things. I'm not going to call it art, art e. No. Hey, there's my friend Pete. This was called a blind contour drawing where you don't look at the paper and you just look at someone's face and you try and chase the outline of their face. They rarely come out looking like somebody. Um, except this one, which looks exactly like Pete. Um, I like this. Anyway, uh, so that's some of the books I made. I think... The next step, I have to figure out what I'm going to do with these signatures if I'm going to try and mix the paper. I'm worried if I don't mix the paper, when I sew the signatures together, it'll get weird because this paper, this bank paper, is so thin. So these are all four sheet signatures. So this is four sheets folded in half, as is this, and I think you can maybe see how thin this is comparatively. So I think that was step one and then the next step I'm going to do is round the corners and like I gotta look at what radius. I think we want four millimeter. Let's look at that. Is that pleasing to us? Is that enough of a round? paper that we can test? I must. Well, if we look at my existing journals, the one that is rounded is about four millimeters. And these ones are, are squared. So this could be enough. So, now I gotta think. I'm not thinking about this the right way. I won't end up with this few. 
Will I? No, I'll end up with many more. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm going to do that where I do one sheet of each and we'll see how many we end up with. Um, so then the next tedious step will be taking <laughs> these nicely folded signatures apart and re-sandwiching them. All while trying not to touch the surface of the paper. And then also... This and the, and the re-sandwiching, I can, the thing about it is it's really easy to just do that while watching TV or something. So, um, what I do think I will do though is we will not put the bank paper in the middle because this is basically a one-sided paper. You can't really write on both sides. Um, so I think it'd be super weird to have it be the middle of the signature where you have the same sheet back to back. So we'll, we'll, we'll do that. Yeah, it's going to be so much fun. And the really interesting thing is, is lately I've been writing on cream paper, but I like white paper better. Because I think it shows off ink nice, more nicely. And yet, I mean, and so next to the paper I've been writing on, this bank paper doesn't look so yellow. But next to the Claire Fontaine, I think it really does. You can really see. I don't know if that'll come through on the camera. Anyway, that has to be enough for now. I gotta go. Um, round the corners of a, a million pieces of paper. I think what I should do though is absolutely just do enough to for the Claire Fontaine. So that means I only need to deal with like eight, if I counted right, of all the other ones. And then I'll make another book that has um, either it has only six signature sheets or maybe something else or whatever we'll figure it out so I'm not putting up this video that's the funny thing is um so this is I'm making a gift for a friend that doesn't know that this is going to be a thing they get so I will not be sharing this until they get the gift I'm thinking that the one of the papers I got came with this as like a, a free piece of paper and I think I'm going to use this on the um, the end paper so the a bit it'll go here because it won't come come over here like this it'll just go on one side and I think that will be perfect I'm really excited to see this come together anyway wish me luck thanks Mm-hmm. <laughs>